all right boys we're back with another one and today we are going to be replacing this part right in here that's the belt tensioner with this new one and if you're wondering where all that noise is coming from well it's right there <laughs> hey if i had a load today i'd be screwed nowhere to go all right, so before you do anything on this, it's a good idea to figure out where exactly the uh, belts go. And I got a little folder here with my diagrams and manuals. The, this front one shows you right here. And I just outline it because it's kind of hard to trace it. That way, you know, if, you, uh, if the belt comes off, you can figure out where it goes. Oh, and by the way, I had Freightliner email me this. You can ask them for schematics and stuff, diagrams. They'll send them over okay so there's the part we need to replace and we can see right there there's a bolt head you come under here you can get a little better view of it sort of there it is back there there's the pulley there's the tensioner part and then it attaches right here So if you guys are wondering why I'm replacing this thing, well, the belt screeches whenever the fan clutch comes on. I replaced two of these pulleys, they were bad. Two of these idler pulleys. Um, I replaced the fan clutch. I replaced the belt. And the damn thing still screeches whenever the fan clutch comes on and it drives me crazy. And it used to, it didn't do that. So if this doesn't fix it, then I guess I just have to live with the screech, whatever. Um, little noises like that really just, uh, they eat away at me, boys. I can't, I can't deal with them. So before we take this tensioner off, you gotta get the belt off. And how do you do that? There's a little spot on the tensioner right down there where you can put your uh, ratchet. And then you just go down with it counterclockwise and it'll take that tension off the belt you see So now we're going to try to get off this tensioner. Not a whole lot of room to work with. Oh, nice. Yep. Almost out of there. It's long winded. There it is. Now remember that's how it went. That's how it goes on. So I didn't even notice this till I got back home, but uh, this this was bad. Can you hear that? Not supposed to sound like that. It's supposed to be smooth. So anyway, it it needed to be replaced. It was losing tension, obviously, and the pulley was bad. And you can't just replace the pulley on these guys, as you can see got to do the whole piece okay so if you don't know whenever you put it back on there's a little knob right there and that thing has to line up down there where it mounts it's got a little spot it fits into show you guys right here huh? doing a video 
off. <laughs> it's back on there now. I just gotta tighten it up. All right. Pretty easy fix. <laughs> gotta watch your arm. You will get your arm cut off. <laughs> that goddamn blade in there. All right, we got it back on there. So now we can tighten it. And uh, here's where that belt diagram comes in handy, boys. This is the one. This is for without the AC. You can you can bypass the AC, but this is how we're, we're doing. So you gotta go up, and then you gotta go down here to your alternator, and then it goes across. It goes across to your um, tensioner. It's hard to get in there. Okay, so we got that. We got it over to the tensioner. Then from the tensioner. It goes back over to this pulley and then from that pulley it goes down to your crankshaft and then from that one up here to your fan clutch all right we got everything back on there except for one pulley that is this one right here it's got to come down off of the um, AC compressor down onto this idler pulley so the only way to do that is to, to turn the um, belt tensioner All right, there it is. All right, guys, I gotta step in here for a second because I can't get very good footage at the truck. So this diagram shows how the belt's supposed to go. Um, but whenever you put it back on there, it's gonna go like this, basically. You're gonna run it through all the pulleys around the crankshaft up here to the fan clutch. And then it's gonna go from the fan clutch straight over here to your AC, con AC compressor down here to your alternator and then over from there to your to your tensioner pulley from there back over here so then whenever you hit the tensioner which is right here it's this whole part and you're going to pull it this way and that's going to give you some room for this belt so where you can pull it down here put it over this pulley and then you'll be good to go so now we want to go ahead and make sure that everything is lined up before we start up the motor. So you just trace the belt, trace it from the AC compressor to the alternator, over here to the tensioner, back over here to the, um, God, I don't even know what this is. I think this is something for the emissions. And then it goes down here to the crankshaft, back up here to the fan clutch. So let's go to the other side, make sure it's all lined. All right, we're at the other side. Everything looks good. All right, y'all, let's start this bad boy up. All right, well, the fan clutch is on right now. We're gonna wait till it turns off and then manually turn it back on, see if it screeches. Okay, it's actually off right now, it's still spinning. But uh, we're gonna rev it up about 1300 RPMs, kick on this fan clutch, see if it screeches. Hey, darling. Oh, nice. So we're gonna take this truck for a quick drive real quick. All right, the fan's off right now. Let's kick the RPM up, see what it does when I flip it on. We're at 1500 RPM. Oh, nice, no screech at all, boys. That's music through my ears. All right, we're doing a little bit higher speeds right now. We're doing about 66, 67. Sitting at about 1400 RPM. Let's kick on this fan. See if she screeches, boys. Oh, nothing. Not even a turp. All right, one more thing. Let's hit the Jake brake, boys. And when you hit the Jake brake on this truck, it automatically turns on the fan clutch because the fan clutch helps slow the truck a little bit. So that's been one of the main times that the screeching has happened when uh, when that Jake brake kicks on. So let's see. So let's hit the Jake brake at a high RPM and see what it does. Seems like the higher the RPM, the, the higher the chance of a screech. Nothing again. 
again. Alright, we're going to do one more downshift, boys. This one's going to be pretty high. Here it comes. something that's really hard to narrow down like like a like a screech um you should probably start from the cheapest thing in my case that was the belt the belt was the thing that originally broke replaced it and then when i realized when i replaced the belt that i had some bad pulleys replaced those and the belt kept screeching so then at that point i should have replaced the the uh, tensioner because um, it was $300, but instead I replaced the fan clutch. That was $1,200, so, uh, yeah. Hey, you, you never know. Maybe it needed it. That's what I'm going to tell myself so I can get through the rest of the day. Um, anyway, guys, be sure to like and subscribe my channel for more stuff like this. Just every day, something different. Never know what it's going to be. That's the life of, uh... A DIY trucker boys I don't trust shops and hey if I met if something ain't right like maybe you know a, a fan clutch that I didn't need all I have is me to be mad at I don't have some guy at a shop I gotta write a bad review on Google about and then go down there and throw fit they're not gonna help me out so uh, yeah I'd rather be mad at myself Let's hear that take break one more time, boys. I never get tired of that sound. 